How to add a white outline to your image in Canva. Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can elevate your Canva designs by adding a white border around yourself or your design in Canva. So let's jump right in. Now it's really simple and easy to do this and it can take only a couple of seconds once you get the hang of it. So simply go into Canva and open up your custom size, whatever size that you want to use. So I'm going to go into inches and we're going to go with six by nine and I will click on create new design. Now that I have my blank canvas, I'm going to click on my canvas and I'll give it some color so you guys can actually see the white outline that we're going to create. Now on the left, we're going to go into uploads and then I will click on upload file. Then upload your image that you want to use. So this is the image that I want to add a white outline around. So I'm going to upload my image and then insert that into my design. So this is the image that we are using today. Now the first step is to remove the background of this image. To do that, simply click on your image and then click on edit image. Click on background remover on the left that is going to be in your Magic Studio in Canva. And just like that, it will remove the background from your image. Once you've done that, you can even go into the Magic Eraser to finish around with some, you know, with some finishing touches. So you can actually go on ahead and use this feature in case the automatic background removal is not as nice. You can even zoom into your image like this and then remove any elements, especially if you have a lower resolution in your image, then you might want to use this tool to clean up the edges. Once you have some crisp edges ready, you're going to go into the bottom section and you're going to see this option for effects. So you can go into effects over here and you should be able to actually see an option for shadows. Now, if you're not seeing shadows over here, not under apps or effects, you can actually go ahead and go into the app section on the bottom left and then search for shadows. So we're just going to search for shadows and you will see the option called shade. So you are going to click on open over here. And once you click on open over here, you will see this will just give us a palette preview. But for our image, we're still not seeing our option to create a shade for our image. So for that, what we can do is we're going to go ahead and go into edit image and we are going to add a crisp shadow around our image. So for that, we can go on ahead and use Canva's AI features, or we can just click on FX effects and we have shadows over here. So usually you're going to find them here. If you don't find them under your FX effects, you're going to find them under apps. So click on shadows over here and you're going to choose the outline feature. Once you choose the outline feature, you're going to go to the bottom and then you have the size, color and intensity. Choose a white color to add your white outline. Now, if you want to add a different type of outline to your image, you can even go with the glow one and then you can choose the blur amount you want. So after that, you can choose the intensity and the size as well to choose your own customized outline. And you can also alter the color to whatever color you prefer. Usually people like to add a white outline just like this. So this is just one simple and easy way that can help you in creating white outlines. Now you might wonder what is the difference if I add it in the form of, you know, a glow or a outline. If you add it in the form of an outline, you don't have as high of a customizations. However, if you add it in the form of a glow, you actually have the option to you know, make it a bit softer, make your edges a bit softer. So that is totally up to you. If you want a white outline with slightly blurred edges, you can do that. But if you want a really crisp look, you can go with the direct outline option. And you can do this with any image on Canva. Simply go into elements and search for an image, or you can go directly into uploads and upload your own images. So as you guys can see, there are a bunch of images which we can choose from. Now you might say, hey, if I have a larger image like this one, for example, how do I add 
white outlines for this. If you click on edit image and directly go into shadows and add your outline, so if you go into shadows over here and choose an outline, you can add an outline to your entire image. But if you want, you can make your image look a bit more professional by separating the elements present within. So for that, instead of going into the image and directly removing the entirety of the background, you can just click on the background remover. Sometimes it's going to nicely remove your background, otherwise you might have to remove some elements. So if it does a bit of a glitch when it's trying to crop out the elements, you can crop out one person and crop out the other, and then choose to remove backgrounds individually. This can help in the AI to remove backgrounds a bit more efficiently. Now you can zoom into the image and then go again to the app section or the edit image section and then click on the magic eraser. Then click on the elements you want to erase like this. So we have these elements we want to erase and now it is cleaning up those edges for us. So I'm gonna wait for this random tree from the side to be removed from our Canva image like so. Now there's still a little bit of the image left. So I'm gonna go on ahead. I'm just going to zoom in further. Now we're just gonna have to zoom in a little like this and then click on erase and I'm just going to erase all of the leaves that are appearing from the back of the image because the complete image has context around it however if we add a white background directly to this it's not going to look nice so we're going to just zoom in really nicely into this over here then go into our magic eraser and then we're just going to choose our brush size and then we can choose to erase all this from here. I'm going to make a really smooth line. And if you zoom in, you can get a really crisp line over here. And once you've done that, your outline is going to look a whole lot better when it's going to be wrapped around each individual person. We're going to wait for our crisp edges. And once this has been completed, we are going to go back. And now if I zoom out and see the image, it looks pretty nice. I can go into shadows over here, I'll add the outline and I'll change it to a white color. And now we have a really nice white outline for our image over here. And just like that, you can create your own outlines for any image in Canva. Not only is this limited to images, but if you like a graphic on Canva and you want to make it look like a sticker. So you can just simply search for cute graphics or, you know, these cute little animals that you see on Canva. And you can just take one little item, then click on edit image and then go into shadows. Click on outline over here and add your preferred size and choose a white color. And now your cute little Canva illustrations will look like stickers with this function. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.